The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could just type yes in the questions, we've had some uh, audio and um, or you know webinar issues here uh, because everyone's at home using uh, <laughs> using the internet. Okay, excellent. All right, so we're good. Um, all right, so uh, uh, today we had scheduled uh, Enrico Stucchi. Uh, he's a new new trader uh, based in Italy, uh, and uh, he was going to present. Right now, he had to cancel uh, kind of last minute here uh, due to what's going on in Italy, and uh, and it's because of the the presentation. Uh, everyone's on the internet, and his bandwidth has been uh, uh, hampered uh, quite a bit. So uh, uh, he's had other webinars, and and he had uh, major issues. So uh, today we're going to have Walter Lessicar. Uh, you're probably very familiar with Walter. Uh, he's been um, uh, trading for uh, for quite a while, 10 years of experience, uh, eight years focused on order flow and book map, or, um, um, or order book and order flow, uh, and trades uh, only liquid markets, the S&P E-mini, uh, crude oil, treasuries. Um, uh, his life defines his trading style. He reaches his goal he, and then he quits. Uh, he's a passionate educator of book map and order flow based on book map. Um, all right, you have the uh, contact information there for bookmap.com, uh, our Twitter, and our uh, support email. Uh, the risk disclaimer, I need to go through this. Trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, one more thing here um, about uh, the recordings, et cetera, um, on our these are all recorded here okay so let me show you where they're where they are and I, I just wanted to show you as well the Enrico Stucchi uh, it's in Italian only but uh, if you do a search for book map on YouTube okay then you'll just click on our logo uh, and then scroll down here to pro trader webinar series and you can see they're all here okay so we have futures Trader 71 Reggie Horner Scott Pulsini and Fausto Pugliese okay we'll also have Walters up here uh, this afternoon all right so I just wanted to show you that uh, as well and then uh, let's uh, go over uh, some of Walter's um, information and contact uh, uh, data here uh, it's all here okay his website he actually has a live trading room as well uh, that's open to the public uh, he has a Twitter account YouTube Skype uh, an interview here on bookmap and then special offers uh, on bookmap from Walter Okay, so now I'm going to put all of these into the chat for you periodically throughout the webinar so that you guys have access to them so you don't have to copy all this down. Okay, you, you should be able to click on the links directly and then be able to go there. All right, uh, without further ado, uh, let's uh, give the presentation here to Walter and let him uh, take over. Okay, do you see it, Walter? I think it's this one. You sh can you see my presentation? Yes, Bookmap TM. Yeah, Bookmap TM. That's right. So I have to. I have several uh, monitors here, and therefore I have to decide to, to <laughs> use the right monitor. So um, now we can start, I suppose. Thank you very much for being uh, with us uh, this morning and this afternoon. I'm glad to be with you in this. Um, exceptional and extraordinary times. Um, thank you for the invitation. It was a short-term invitation, but I have managed to prepare something for uh, to, to, this, uh, to this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are. During this 60 minutes, I would like to give you some insights I'm using in my trading, and um, I would like to, if you have, yes, to discuss it with you, if you have some questions, uh, let me, um, I will do my best to answer them. Today, uh, for example, I would like to talk about how do I am determining markets direction. This is, uh, from my point of view, important because once you are executing a trade, automatically several questions should or must be answered. For example, does the market prove me right, for example, or I am still on the do uh, yes. I am still um, on the right track with my trade. 
do external events support or maybe interfere with my trade? Is this move coming to an end? How do I trail my stops, et cetera, et cetera? There are several questions. And I think Bookmap is an excellent tool to track the direction of the market. I will come to that in a few seconds. Um, yes, as I said, I think Bookmap has a lot of uh, helpful plugins and custom made indicators which can support your trading decision. Um, because of the short time we have here to this uh, morning or afternoon, um, it is a small snapshot of my trading approach in our trading room at ttwtrader.ecofin.com. I'm posting more intensively what I plan, plan to do for the day. So, um, yeah, if you want to look at it, you are invited and welcome. But first of all, let's start. So, and let's start with a big bang. You know that already because uh, Bookmap is telling every trader in real time what a liquid market is doing and what it intends to do. That's what, from my point of view, differentiates Bookmap from other platforms. And um, by saying that, um, before I continue with my presentation and my um, example or my recordings, what I have prepared for this presentation, uh, it is important to understand that there is no statistical uh, presentation in Bookmap or whatsoever. Given you are using MBO data, that means market by order data, you get highly detailed data, you will see the same what professionals see. And I'm ready to prove that every day or uh, in this presentation or in other presentation by showing how Bookmap helps you to see whether you are right with your trading decision or not. And that's a quite important question. Let me start first. Let me start first uh, with a question and uh, let me dig a little bit deeper. I don't want to bore you with it, but uh, I will explain how you can determine market direction in Bookmap in real time. I'm talking about real time. I'm not talking about statistical data or whatever you want data. Um, first of all, we have in Bookmap um, the book imbalance. Excuse me, the, the first idea, the, the first what I wanted to say is that I'm trying to advise and to teach that for a good understanding of a traded and liquid market, reading the order book, the leading, reading the limit order book is crucial or invaluable, at least from my point of view. It is easy to add a limit order book to your bookmap if you um, are trading with bookmap or if you have your bookmap copy and you don't have this limit order book. Um, I have prepared an how to add a limit order book to the bookmap in a few seconds. It takes you only really a few seconds. On the other side, when you understand how a limit order book works and what information you get off it, then you won't miss, you won't miss it. I'm absolutely sure you won't miss it, this information uh, for your further and future trading. Coming back to what, uh, to, to what I want to show, there are several information you will get when you, step, uh, when you set up your bookmap copy properly. That means in bookmap you have the book, book imbalance or limit or the book imbalance. By the way, if you are losing the, uh, using the uh, limit order book in bookmap, you will have the access to quotes delta. I will come in a few seconds to that, a few minutes to that, to show you what quotes delta mean and how you can read that. But these two informations, information are, yes, sometimes sufficient to understand where the pressure is coming from. Is it the pressure to the upside or is the pressure to the downside? Additionally, what I have released last week, um, or oh, excuse me, this week, is my proprietary uh, indicator, or our proprietary indicator, my TTW Market Volume Pro, which measures additionally the pressure on bid and ask, ask volume. It shows you the bid ask imbalances, the, the divergences or deltas. It measures the market vol volume velocity. It shows you the market, market direction and it um, alerts you when volume spikes happens or when volume spikes occurs. Before 
I think it is important to talk about naming color conventions in BookMap briefly to understand better the demo and uh, I it make how to say my further explanations more logical. Therefore let's go very briefly about the naming and color conventions because um, I put this in this uh, presentation uh, yeah because of my experience it's sometimes not clearly understandable what a limit order book means what the uh, yes the task of a limit order book is and how it is organized so before I continue and even continue with the um, recordings I will show you how I yeah the naming and call convention so to be very clear what we are talking about uh, during the next minutes so limit bit or resting order bit this is this side here limit bit and in, in, in the color is green so when we look at the left side of the order book we have a bit column it's uh, or limit order bit or limit or limit orders or resting orders on bit and the color is green when we are uh, talking about the limit ask or resting order on ask or offer then we have the color convention is red here aggressors or market orders are always in the middle of this uh, limit order book that means uh, now it's opposite when the aggressors are hitting the bits the color is red and the aggressors hitting the um, the offer or the ask the color is green so when we are talking about hit the bid, what is quite common in the trading industry or trading uh, arena then it means the aggressors are hitting the bids they are selling to the buyers they are selling to the buyers here then um, the aggressor market aggressor color is red on this side and we are when we are talking about lift the offer that means the, the 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 sellers no the buyers are coming in and buys everything from the sellers here on the ask side then we are saying okay the market is lift the offer the market is lifting the ask or offer side you can use ask if you um if you're used to it you can also say offer that means lift the offer means the price is likely to going up and hitting the bids if there are uh, no bidders on this side means the price is likely to going down so that's uh, what uh, what's quite important to keep in mind when we are talking about how to determine market direction secondly um let's talk a little bit about the limit order book imbalance on ask we have a nice measurement a nice graph graphical presentation of the limit order book so it says book and book map it should be i think i discussed it with uh, several colleagues here should be named limit book or lob or, um, yes instead because book means also um, can um, means everything that means uh, limit side and as, as well as the aggressor side so we have this nice graphical presentation of the limit order book um, in book map which can be utilized to understand to understand where the market is heading let's give in if you see this my presentation here and i first took this example um, based on the recordings i have prepared if the bar is showing for example 66 or minus 66 percent so the red bar is um, wide wide to the left oh yes it's nearly yes covering all the left all, all this all, all this place here on the left side that means we have a strong imbalance on the ask side we have a strong imbalance on the offer side that means this is pressure to the upside it indicates pressure to the upside and uh, not to confuse you but maybe um to show to, to talk about the meanings um my interpretation is uh, I can wonderful live with because it fits absolutely in the in the whole logic is in case of strong buying sellers are offering more on the limit ask side here so this means there is a strong imbalance or there is an imbalance on the book side on the ask side that means the market you will so if you have this uh, plugin or this add-on in your book map activated then have a look 
at that one. It's a little bit harder to watch it now, but uh, you will more than once see the extremes now in this high volatile and thin markets. So you will see this red bar, for example, is going to 100% as well as the green bar to 100% on that side. But keep in mind that this limit order book imbalance on ask means, okay, there's pressure on the offer side, there's pressure on the ask side. This is a kind of oversupply and that leads to the ask imbalance in the order book. The opposite of the limit order book imbalance on the ask side is limit order book imbalance on the bid side. That means if you see a strong green bar pointing to the right side of the of this graphical presentation of this graph here and the top right bottom uh, and top, top right yes uh, corner of the, your bookmap copy then you will see and you will experience that there is a strong imbalance on bid bid and that means pressure to the downside of prices falling the aggressors are hitting the bids the aggressors are hitting the bids the aggressors are hitting the bids in case and the meaning is uh, the opposite of what i mentioned before on the ask, ask side in case of strong selling buyers are offering more on the limit side that is the limit order book imbalance and this oversupply leads to billet bid imbalance imbalance in the order book it's quite interesting to keep that in mind because um, in normal times, so few uh, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, we could really relax and see how the book, the limit order book indicator, shows us the direction of the market more than not. Now, indicate because uh, this extreme volatile and distinct market. It's really hard to follow this uh, indication here or this indicator here. So we need a little bit more, yeah, information. We need a little bit more, um, yeah, help us, help from the other book. And that means what I'm teaching and, yes, and um, telling the people if they are, um, if they are known and if they are using the limit order book, there are several other possibilities, for example, to read the order book in the right manner. That means you have not only the limit side, you have not only the aggressors here, the market volume, but you have only additionally so-called quotes delta. And this quotes delta is sometimes very, very helpful. So even if you are not uh, accustomed to use it, or you're not, it's may, maybe even unknown to you, I don't know, um, but it is really helpful uh, because it is a numerical indication of added or subst uh, subtracted orders. That's, that's not very, very complicated. It's not a rocket science here. Um, but it's still there. The information is there. If you have bookmap, then I would like to suggest to use it because it's simply there together with a bookmap imbalance indicator. You can use the quote delta to understand in good liquid markets, so I'm talking about ES, I'm talking about treasury, soybeans, whatever, has more than 100 and 200 um, contracts on the price level. That means this is a good, good market. It takes simply time to yes, press the market up or to press the market down. And this time, and this at certain levels, you will see that this quotes delta gives you valuable and really good information what the market intends to do. So if you are reading positive uh, numbers or positive numbers, you have a pressure. You have the pressure, and in this case, uh, the pressure is on the ask side, and you see there's no, there's no, not enough buying, um, buying pressure, let me say that way, to support Support the sellers here, or to support the bid side, in order that the prices, that the price comes to a stop. And um, yes, negative numbers means less pressure or kinds cancelling orders. That happens also all the way. It indicates also, and that's a part of my seminar, show the 
the interstate um, yes, uh, traders, the indicates reverses at, uh, reverses at top and bottoms. You can see that how the market is pressing up, pressing up, for example, if we are reaching a top, for example, and they are resisting on this side. So now what we have, um, uh, what I want to say, it, it is extremely, extremely, really, believe me, extremely meaningful, meaningful and good liquid markets. It's um, hard to read in extremely thin markets like these days in yes or CL or gold and Q, whatever you want to use. It's not so helpful to be very open and you will see that, but it doesn't matter. It's still here and I think um, you should use it. I, if you if you let's say let's be open for everything for every new idea in trading which help us to be profitable then i would recommend to use the book imbalance and as well as this as quotes delta for example um, you will see more than often that it indicates at tops and bottoms and where the resistance where resistance or even support is coming from good what i have added now to the armor to the arsenal of um, trading for trader for traders and for trading is uh, this market volume pro um, indicator because it is an um, invaluable invaluable help really to understand better what the market is doing and um, what i did or what we did here in the development of this indicator is simply that we adapted every our our knowledge to the market and added it to to bookmap. Let me give, go very briefly about uh, um, uh, yes um, about, um, uh, very briefly on on the functions of the TTW Market Volume Pro. It indicates in real time what is traded on market side. We are talking about about the market side. Remember the book, the limit order book is talk, is um, indication for the limit side. The quotes delta is an indication of the changes between limited aggressors and what i wanted to achieve is achieve is to give additional information especially in this in this fast and high volatile times to bookmap to understand where the mark what the market volume is still doing what the aggressors are doing and as i said it's real time it's real time um, the, the the goal is how to show how aggressors behave at the very moment. What is happening now at that very moment with aggressors with the market orders here and with this column here in the mid between limit bid and limit ask. It is um, purely traded market volume. It is free of average smooth statistical or paste data. Nothing. It's that what you receive from your data provider and therefore i mentioned it's the best way to have an mbo market by order data high quality data to get a, the, the the best the best information out of this uh, uh, of, of this chart the so chart quality of traded volume depends on data provider as i said and significance of uh, this um, indicator or indications here book quotes delta and the market volume pro is uh, as well for thick markets let me say good liquid markets and extremely thin markets like we have today in um, in um, yes in our in the years for example or the last two weeks where the, the volatility was extremely high let me show you briefly and go very briefly before we continue with a with a recording here um, you have in this um, and adjust or you have the information the, between uh, hit the bid hit the bid means they are hitting the bid and the aggressors are hitting the bid or lift the ask that means they are lifting the offer they're lifting the offer it's leading who of the side is leading you can you have a numerical um, presentation here as well as graphical presentation here to understand that in this case um, in this example here in the screenshot the, um, the aggressors are hitting the bid, They're hitting the bid all the time. You will see that in um, this numerical, uh, yes, indications that, that are not co traded contracts, that are not traded contracts, the numerical representation of the graphs here. What I have, um, uh, what, what you can see ad additionally, not only the market direction, for example, if you want to see where the sellers crosses the buyers. So 
if, if you can imagine this could be a cross here. Red is over green, that means the sellers are leading, they are hitting the bids, they are hitting the bids. The market velocity is indicated by the, yes, by the angle of the, of the move, of, this, um, of the price move, what is happening. It's very hard and high volume here. Bid ask imbalances, bid ask imbalances indicates a break or a pause in a move. They are happening all the way. When the difference between the red line, let me say that way, and the green line is too big, then expect a break. Then that's, that happens all the way, all up the way up or all the way down. The, <clears throat> excuse me. The delta or the difference between bid and ask plots the divergence or the divergences, divergences here on the way, uh, way up. It is very helpful uh, to see on tops or bottoms if there is a divergence between uh, on, 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 the, on a certain price for every instrument. I'm not a friend of divergences, so I don't want to stress this much, but um, I will show you an example how it can wor work if you look at divergences. And as well, you can also spot volume spikes. So in case we have um, external tweets, news, whatever hits the market nowadays, in, yes, in the last two weeks, you have seen that very, very often, uh, often during the trading days. So you can spot very comfortably volume spikes. And volume spikes means also maybe a break um, into trading. I'm talking my seminar very intensively about volume spikes and sweeps and how to trade them. Okay, um, let's start. Let's start here with an, um, an ex example I have pre presented or I have prepared. Excuse me. I have chosen not the very fast movements of the last days, but um, I have um, yes selected the ES from February the sixth. And that's really shortly before four minutes, four minutes before the open. And I will go very briefly through some of the move moves the yes, yes did on this uh, day and show you what you can use and how you can profit to understand what the direction of the market is and if it supports your strategy, your thought your view on the market um, you have actually on that day. It's nothing more than, uh, as again, I will show you what I'm focusing on in my trading. It is, uh, it, it are help us, this are help us, but sometimes they are really helpful to see what happens. So let me start this um, replay. I will do that a little bit faster so because we don't have much time today in my next seminar update, which is always free for all seminar members. I will go more in depth. By the way, I will launch a YouTube video on how to use this information, how to use the limit order book, how to use the uh, quotes delta and as well as this um, helper down on uh, this uh, market volume in uh, market, market volume pro from this uh, in market, excuse me, from this market volume pro indicator. Let's go a little bit faster, not to boring you here with this um, recordings. Now the market is open. And uh, let's go a little bit uh, slower through this opening here. Right now at the opening, or uh, just from the opening now, you see which side is leading. It's a little bit too fast now for you, but um, anyway, you will, if you have the chance or you, you are inter interested in this uh, Market Volume Pro, you will see every day that some is, uh, that one side, one side is leading. That means they are hitting, the aggressors are hitting the bits, they are hitting the bits, they are hitting the bits. Mind please, these numbers here, there are 5,500 5, on the um, yes, aggressive side, on the bid side, and there are only 5,100, 5, 5,200 on the ask side. You will see these differences along the day, along the trading day. 
that's one indication you can see at, from the beginning on when the market starts. So you have, it's still red, it's still red. It's hard to stop, but you see it also when you look at the limit order book here, when you look at the limit order book, the green side is still, um, it's a little bit more to the to the right side. It means they are um, adding to the bid side for various reasons, but the imbalance is very clear on the bid side. And what you can see in the quotes delta at that point of time here is you see that the uh, they are adding to the to the ask. They are adding to the ask. They are adding to the ask. That means it's a kind of resistance. They are building kind of resistance because that could be also um, iceberg orders or orders from behind. You know what we see here in the limit order book for every instrument. That means if you are trading stocks or if you are trading futures, this is only the tip of an iceberg. We haven't we haven't talked about options trader. We haven't talked about hedge funds who are really in charge of moving a market. And um, but what we as as a retail trader can see and use this free information here is to understand that this um, uh, yeah that the and ask side on the limit side is being uh, added or is adding, adding, adding. That could be a nice indication that, that they are resisting. They are yes, um, showing resistance at those levels. Here. Let me go um, forward a little bit. I will make it a little bit faster here. But it's easy to spot now very clearly that red is leading. That means they are hitting the bit, they are hitting the bit, they are hitting the bit. You see also the numerical differences here, uh, 6600 um, versus 6100. So you have different indications that if you are looking for shorts here, if you are short, given you are short here, you're sold um, the yes, then it gives you the confidence that you are on the right side on the market. So let's go forward. This was the open. We see they still selling pressure in the market. They still selling pressure in the market. With the declining lines here, it means that the relative numbers here, the numbers before are coming to a um, break or it's slowing down a little bit. Now they're changing, retesting these areas. You see here a little bit an, of a volume spike, a volume spike again. And what we see now is a very clear leading of aggressors on the bid side. That means we are talking about 7,000 versus 6,300 here on the ask side. That means there is no chance at this moment, at this moment of time, there is no chance. There is no chance to buy. You can't buy anything here at the moment, even if you have, and that are my friends from um, volume profiling, even if you maybe have here in a low volume, uh, low, low volume profile uh, or high volume profile. Um, Low, excuse me, low volume node and low high volume node. So um, yeah, you can't do anything but sell. So that means the market, that what I wanted to show you this afternoon or this morning, is that the market is indicating very, very clearly what it intends to do in real time. This are, let me say that way, this are organic, organic numbers. This is organic platform here and organic chart because there's nothing manipulated, given you have the right data feed, of course. Let's do it a little bit faster because we are running out of time here. Let's do it a little bit faster, eightfold. Now what becomes interesting is what I meant with the bid ask imbalance. Bid ask imbalance means they are hitting the bid so hard 
there's a little bit trading on the ask side, but they are hitting the bid so hard that this imbalance is likely to come to a break. So be aware if when this that happens. It's nice to, if you are short, it's very, really, very really great to be short and to get a um, approval that you are right. But um, take into account that this can switch very, very fast. So you see the market is deteriorating. Yes, deteriorates deteriorate, uh, or it comes to an end here. Hard word for myself. So we have maybe given you have been short here from 43, then the book, the delta, and maybe also this indicator is showing you very clearly it's short, it's short, it's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. That means you are, yes, you have been proved right. Maybe this is an um, stop runs here at, at that point here at 243 and that it goes down to this liquidity level. And now something interesting happens here. Let me go a little bit faster, uh, a little bit more forward. just a little bit more so not to boring you with this uh, recording here and um, let me show you anything else here now that you yeah maybe you will have close to your trade because now the ask is was hit the ask is hitting the ask uh, the uh, aggressors are hitting the ask more than the bid side that means something is changing you can add oh come on you can add, um, excuse me, that this. Um, by the way, the this indicator is reading all mark uh, all history data when you start. So, when the market comes to a stop or maybe to a bottom, you have, of course, another possibilities to measure if this is really true because this delta is showing showing a clear divergence so you if you are like if you like divergences so have a look at them because um, between this point you see that that was the low and this point that means the bid the, the buyings are more you see on this time the buyers have been there and they are hitting the ask very 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 fast and very very um, intense that means the divergence divergence is building here so uh, as i said i'm not a friend of uh, deltas or divergences but uh, that's only my personal opinion opinion on that so the velocity now you see how the velocity is decreasing also here at the look here uh, come on look here in the order book you can see how this board book imbalance grows. Let's go a little bit slower here. And you see the market is coming to an, let me say, rest or to, to a pause here at this moment. But you see very clearly that now the aggressors on the ask side are in front. So they are leading, they are leading the market. You have also a nice divergence, uh, excuse me, di divergence here. You have a nice divergence here, which happens very often during the day. And then it leads you to say maybe you have other indicator, indicator here or other lines here or supports here. Uh, it shows you that this market is likely to go up. That could be a nice buy here. Um, let's jump a little bit forward. So the velocity of the market, that means traded traded market volume, is uh, decreasing here. It's simply decreasing here. And now what you see here is again bid ask imbalance, bid ask imbalance here on that point. And uh, as I said, 
I will do it a little bit more in detail in the yes uh, YouTube video about this uh, functions. It takes simply time. It takes time for the market to make a break. Maybe you are invested, and when you see this um, differences here, you should be alerted too, and that means um, maybe closing your trade or trail your stop or make your stops a little bit anger, uh, closer. Excuse me. You also see now, just to, to catch that, it's hard to catch that one. You see also very, very clearly that now the pressure is on the ask side. The order book imbalance and book map shows you the pressure on the ask side. As well, when you look at a quotes delta, you see the pressure on the bid side. So this the this guys here, this this traded volume here, and on this side 75 here, for example. And the numbers here indicates there is pressure to the upside. They are supporting, they are supporting, they are supporting. That means if you are in the position, you have not only liquidity, which is a separate topic to talk about that, but you have also numerical um, improvements that the market is going up. So you are right. Maybe you took your position somewhere here and you got all the way the confirmation that the market is in your favor, that the market proves you right. Just to show you something, anything else here, as well, please mind that uh, the divergence is there. So we have higher, we have nearly the same prices here, but the traded volume on that side, on the second touch of the second top here, of the top here, of the double top, uh, is much, much lower than, um, much, much lower than um, here at that point. Let me stop that here. And as well, when you see that, you are alerted that you have, um, that you have some um, indicators and reading, okay, something is amiss here. Maybe I have to stop or exit my trade or maybe reverse my trade, however you are trading. That's uh, really, mm, yes, your, your personal style of trading. But what I wanted to show you in this very short presentation um, is that it's possible to understand where the market is setting. You need only the book, limit order book um, imbalance. You have to be a friend of a limit order book and um, uh, in your book map copy, as I said, it, it takes only a few minutes, uh, excuse me, it, it takes only a few seconds to um, to set it up. And if you want, you can add this uh, market volume imbalance pro, market, excuse me, market volume pro indicator um, to add a little bit more information to that what you see on the chart. Okay, let's go a little bit further because time is running out. What I want to say with that is simply to, yes, to point your interest to BookMap because we are talking here about real-time data. We are not talking about standardized, uh, the standardized or um, um, smoothed or whatever data. No, we are talking. We are talking about the now. Um, just to give you an impression. I, I, um, yeah, my preparation for this uh, for this presentation was simply to show you that the, how to measure direction in uh, for your instrument. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't matter whether it's it's yes or um, CL or um, gold or whatever you are trading. It's very very helpful to know we have a limit order book. We have excuse me in the lens. We have the delta the quotes delta here, and we have um, um, some indicators on good indicators which supports our move. But what I'm trading, to be very clear, to, to be very clear, I'm not looking at indicator. I'm not looking at this indicator. This indicator I have uh, is the fourth priority. The first priority is to understand the market mechanics. What is the market doing here? That's what I'm teaching in every seminar and that's the first focus on, um, on this, on my, on, when, when I'm looking on my chart, or when, I'm, when, when I'm looking, uh, yes, on my chart. The second focus is the limit order book. The third focus are the information I am getting from the market about certain levels, also some option levels, which are 
um, which are around, which will, maybe we can talk next time uh, how to use um, the option market and the hedge fund market for de defining some interesting levels. Because as I said, that what you see in the limit order book, either you are, it doesn't matter if, if, if you are trading stocks or if you are trading futures, it's only a tip of an iceberg. We need more information to be uh, sustainably successful and profitable. And then this indicator gives me an additional argument to say I'm long or I'm short. So like uh, shown like shown here in this uh, in this presentation or in this replay, excuse me, in this uh, replay here, um, most important information is what happens in the market. Then what happens in the order book? Quotes Delta is here. It's an excellent guide for for um, finding tops and bottoms. And finally, finally, when I got this information without making it very complicated, look at an indicator and what is the indicator te indicator telling you? Either you are a friend of divergences, or you are a friend to understand what hit um, what the market is doing. Either the aggressors are hitting the bid or aggressors is uh, lifting the ask. This is an information. It helps you to see. Oh, I'm I'm on the right side, so nothing changed. You see, red is over green. That means they are hitting the bits. They are hitting the bits. They are hitting the bits. Okay. So to be very clear, my focus is first understand ma market mechanics, using um, additional information on the um, limit order book and as well as external information, and then for um, final decision, it's always good to have. An additional helper like the market volume pro is. Um, why bookmap? Now, why bookmap? Bookmap is, uh, I started with that, I tried to come to an end with that, is telling every trader in real time what a liquid market is doing and what it intends to do. That's what differentia differentiates, differentiates bookmap from other platforms. If you want, to learn more or to see more, go to my webpage, this ttwtrader.com. There's also a bookmap offer. If you want to following the follow uh, affiliate link, you will find an interesting bookmap offer because um, yes, interesting bookmap offer for you um, if you are um, about to learn more about bookmap. Um, if you are interested in the TTW Market Volume Pro, it's available on the Bookmap mark Marketplace, which is a great invention, and I'm happy about the release of Bookmap Marketplace because it uh, allows secure licensing and, licensing and payment process. Um, that, that's you see the link about marketplacebookmap.com product TTW Market Volume Pro. Uh, what differentiates it and what might makes a difference? My indicator comes with a lifetime license. I don't like subscriptions, so I give it as a lifetime license and all free updates which are coming them hopefully in the next time when we are talking maybe about the X feed, for example, all these updates are for free. It runs on Bookmap for Mac as well as for Windows. That's really unique and uh, maybe of interest for you. It, I'm sure it will also run on Bookmap for Linux when it is released. You have a five-day trial available and you can get more information on my um, web um, yeah, webpage, ttwtrader.com, the product and the shop page. Uh, you will find um, more information about that plus the YouTube video, which I hope to launch next week or during the next 10 days because uh, we are locked in here in Europe too. So um, as well, I have, an, as Bruce mentioned, a um, trading room, which is uh, ttwtrader.ecofin.com. Um, if you want to sneak in and see what we are doing here, at the moment, the um, trading room is um, quite silent because of the situation in the market, but also the situation here worldwide, especially in Europe. Uh, there's no much, much activity there, but you are invited to join if you want. So thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for your um, interest in this uh, short presentation here. I wish you all the best and stay safe. So I'm here to answer your questions if you have some. Bruce, you can take over if you want.
Okay, no, uh, yeah, got some questions here for you. Um, so, uh, yeah, Darcy, um, or I'm sorry, Andrew is is asking about the uh, um, the uh, Sharp Delta or your um, you know Market Volume Pro. Uh, it's on there the uh, uh, the Bookmap Marketplace. I put the link in there for you guys. Uh, it's also in the chat. Um, I, I included it now in the in the link of with all this other information. So you have all of that. Um, and uh, let's see um, other questions here. Just a minute. Okay. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions for for Walter, uh, now is the time to get them in. Uh, and, and people are asking for, um, is there a, uh, a demo uh, to try it, make sure uh, things are working? Uh, yes, yes, there is. It, it's a trial there. So um, let me go back. Um, now, come on, what happens here? Um, when you are on the bookmap marketplace, then um, you have to sign on to subscribe and you get a five-day free trial with uh, this indicator. Um, it's quite easy to install it when you get it. Just show me this very briefly here. You put the indicator in a directory, let me say bookmap a my APIs or whatever, a directory on a config file, a config uh, folder of your bookmap copy. Then go to API plug in information, add, simply click on add. I have it here. So uh, add it to your um, plugin configuration here, check it on and it works, um, it, it immediately works. What, what happens is, so that's the that's point we had, um, yes, we have, if you are loading that for the first time, if you are loading that for this uh, indicator for the first time, you have to restart book map. So to be very sure that um, the, um, the indicator comes up, what it's not this indicator is not sharp delta it's a um, different and new development it reads all the how to say it reads all the historical part historical data when you start when you start your book map uh, with your instrument um, it reads all the data all the historical data if you start over so um, that's really unique so it as I say uh, said it works on um, mac it doesn't work with the exit at the moment, so we are looking for a solution for that. Maybe there will be announcement. But anyway, if you if you have if you buy it or if you test it, uh, maybe during the next weeks you will get also the the function of the X feed here. But that's um, that's not clear when it will happen. So it doesn't work with the X feeds. So please, if you have CQG data or rhythmic data or whatever data, it works with all the common data uh, provider, but not uh, with the X feed at the moment. I hope we will get the X feed for futures, CME, and as well the X feed for stocks. And that will be then really an um, yes, golden bullet, let me say that an argument for and pro book map. Okay. Okay, excellent. That that was the next question about uh, uh, using uh, which data feed uh, does it work with? Um, and uh, Jerry was asking specifically about DX feed. So there, there, there's your answer, Jerry. Yes. Um, okay, so can I'm a little confused though, uh, Walter? Can you talk about the differences here? Because um, uh, Stan is also asking about uh, he has the Sharp Delta. So what's the differences between your Sharp Delta and uh, this Market Volume Pro? The difference is the Sharp Delta is not my development. The Sharp Delta is an uh, own development which was a little bit, um, yeah, uh, it, it wasn't, it, it, yeah, let me say that way. Sharp Delta is not my development and the uh, market um, volume pro is our development, my development, not to say that way. And it's programmed smarter than Sharp Development, uh, Sharp, Sharp Delta. It's uh, completely new de de designed. It's really fast. And uh, the difference is that um, there's a yes, thorough and comprehensive education about that. Second, what I think you should think about that, it's a lifetime license, so you, there's no need for a subscription. 
and you will get the updates for free if we add the X feed, for example, and add a other um, options of yes other options to to this indicator uh, what i like at that point you don't need any dll or whatever because it makes the system a little bit more instable so it is it runs on bookmap marketplace it gives you a secure licenses licensing payment process yes of course it's an uh, um, it's a goodie uh, it's an add on um, you get a fi five day trial available as said the difference is simple it is developed from scratch it is very fast it is um, good yeah it is very fast and that is has some smart programming it comes as a lifetime license and uh, with free updates it runs on mac on windows no need for dlls or whatever and you have a clear license structure on that um, that's the main difference it's uh, simply the coding what i didn't like with to be very open with sharp delta and um, that makes the, come, this idea came up to make then um, to start over this programming stuff with Market Volume Pro, and I'm happy about that because it's, it, it runs on every copy smoothless. Once you have loaded it, uh, if you are have if you load it for the first time, you have to reload the uh, book map, and that's it. That's it. It runs on Mac as well as on Windows, and it will for sure run on Linux uh, book map for Linux hopefully when we get it okay oh, yep yep okay uh so uh that was uh, yeah it, it is super fast i was uh, actually impressed by how quickly that loaded there uh, that was uh, excellent um so um <coughs> that's uh, fantastic um a question on uh, the um uh trial uh kendall is asking is for five trading days or you know during the week or just five calendar days so i guess you know he'll hold off basically he's saying if if it's not um trading days he'll hold off until monday uh and then try yeah it. so I, I i can't answer that i have to go to back to bookmap to ask what means five days uh if it means uh, five uh, work days that's a good question by the way so thank you for that i have never thought about that i will <laughs> write down here this uh, idea and this thought about five day trial because it's not under my control it's not under my control it's con under control of bookmap and bookmap market bookmaps uh, marketplace so um to be um, open i don't know what what to say to that question i will pass this question to bookmap to understand better but if it's so that it means five consecutive days so if you are starting the trial on friday and uh, you are losing then Saturday and Sunday, for example, two days, then I can extend it to 10 days, for example. But I have never thought about this question. Thanks okay. for that. Okay. Well, um, so, uh, Kendall, you have uh, all the contact information there for Walter uh, as well. So you can reach out to him and ask um, uh, and follow up with him. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, uh, oh, Jerry's asking about the success rate um, of the of the beta testing. Um, have you like back tested these this um, uh, volume uh, market volume pro? No, it's not. You know, I haven't back tested it. That's not possible. And as I said, it's it's an additional information for myself. It doesn't matter. So I'm not trading. I'm not trading di divergences. It's not my trading style to trade divergences so therefore the the focus of a delta or of a divergence i don't think that this is really successful in the, su successful in the long run we don't have at the moment here the uh, as, as far i know the possibility to back test and the questions now what what, what uh, do you want to back test also we have discussed you can also um, draw rectangles now let's let's say this is a crossing red over green that means we can um we have had we have done that um draw on rectangle here um uh, that indicates that you should sell them but i refuse to do that because i'm not a friend of indicators and um, uh, pure indicator trading i don't want to understand what the market is doing what the market is telling me here then when i see that the market and my understanding of the market is 
right? I'm looking for additional information. So if they are hitting the bit here, then I'm right with my short here, or I might be right with my short here. You will see that in this uh, very fast and volatile days, it's a little, little bit more harder to trade it. Yes, of course, you can trade, you can trade, um, you can trade the crossings here. You can trade the crossings, but then it's with as well with every single crossing is um, the idea is it must trend. The market must go forward. The market must trend for yourself to get the profit out of that. If you are in a range, then every indicator fails. Every indicator fails. So that's that, that's that's my what, what I'm trying to tell the people or um, who wants to know. It's not my style. Therefore, we haven't had we um, refuse to add lines or rectangles or whatever, or excuse me, uh, triangles or whatever uh, indications to, to, the, to the chart in order be, to, to avoid any confusion. From my point of view, it's more important to understand the market mechanics, how, it, how the market works, how the market really, um, what the market is really telling you, and then use this additional information to get and to get more confidence in your trading. You can, of course, as I said, do that, trade the crossings, but I have, haven't tested that. I haven't any back tests on that. And uh, it's not in my interest to show you that it works profitably for the last year if you are only following this uh, crossing scene. Okay. Um, that's not what I intended. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's a really, really uh, good um, answer. Uh, and uh, uh, and, and so there you go, Jerry. I mean, this is not red light, green light, you know, signal. Um, so, uh, you know, he's looking, he's, he's looking for a study of something very specific. Uh, and then he's adding that into as a confluence to the other things that he, he has as uh, a higher um, uh, uh, kind of on the list uh, to, to take a look at and, and gain insight. Um, all right. And then uh, let's see here, just a, a couple of quick questions and we got to wrap it up here. Um, yeah. The, what are the uh, trading room hours? Uh, Stefan is asking. The trading room is open 24 by 7. That means um, I'm not uh, around at the moment because I'm very, very busy with other developments. But I'm regularly looking in, and as I said, um, the trading trading is postponed at the moment. We had uh, two week uh, free trading in January. Then this market uh, turns uh, and the this virus turns everything uh, up. And that's that's not um, um, so. Therefore, that it's quite um, quiet in the in the in, in the room. But it's open 24 by 7. So if you have any questions, you can post it, uh, place it then. But um, yeah, that's 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 all I can say. Please respect the uh, etiquette in the in the in the in the trading room. I'm very harsh with um, anyone who wants to disturb the room. So if you want to come in, you're welcome as said. Uh, when the next um, live trading is, I will make it public and uh, you can be a part of to see what I'm doing. But at the moment, it's um, it's not close, but it's uh, quiet. Right, right. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Um, any other uh, parting words of wisdom, uh, Walter? Elsa, uh, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up here. No, thank you very much. That was it. What I wanted to say. The most important part for uh, part of uh, for all for all of us is to staying safe during the next days and weeks. So maybe we will get locked um, up here. So um, uh, yeah, lockdown. Um, if you want to trade, my idea is go back to my web page and see whether you can get more into this trading because I'm not teaching the indicator here. I'm not teaching this one. This is a nice additional helper, which adds to you um, uh, additional information. Look to understand my understand to understand the market mechanics and how market works. Then it is quite important to understand that we are not alone in this market. We have to look on the, uh, on, the, on the correlated market, we have to look what options, uh, uh, this multi-billion um, industry of options hedge funds are, are doing in this, and that's that's really the part, it's the core of my trading and the core of my um, seminars and education. That's all what I wanted to say, uh, if we have, um, yes, and then the next time maybe we can talk about 
like options to buy, how options uh, in, can influence also the trading. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we'll have you again here soon, Walter. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, thank you though for um, being able to fit in. Uh, we'll have Enrico Stuckey again as well, guys. Uh, so um, uh, it was uh, really nice that Walter could uh, 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 present here today uh, and went over some excellent things. So uh, we'll have the recording up later uh, this afternoon. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. And, uh, and thank you, Walter. Thank you. And thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.